What's up, Briplanders? I wanted to talk about the Oscars because they kind of were awesome. The Oscars award shows, every year it seems to be one award where I'm like, what? Huh? Who? Why? How? Where? But no, the Oscars this year was pretty dang good. They did a good job. This Oscars finally was the year where everything that I thought was gonna win one, but still there was some, like, I guess you could say tension, some mystery around who was gonna win, especially in the Emma Stone, Lily Gladstone department. And don't get me wrong, Lily Gladstone, freaking amazing performance. I'd say one of the best performances, male, female of the whole entire year, but Emma Stone, male, female, the best performance of last year. But no, dude, everything else won. I was waiting for, I was waiting for Oppenheimer to get jibbed, right? I was like, okay, Ludwig's not gonna win best score, even though we desert, Ludwig just won. Okay, but there's no way Christopher, no okay, Christopher Nolan won also. Oh, Robert Denton, everyone's winning. Kill Killian, we all knew Killian was gonna win. Okay, he won everything award. You know, when they do like the freaking the janitor awards of Southern California and Killian Murphy he won that one too freaking he won everything billy eilish won poor things won in other categories as well that again i was like yeah poor things deserves that and i was just really happy i was pleasantly surprised with really everything and while it would have been cool to see a world where ryan gosling won for i'm just ken you know mark ronson we all knew it wasn't gonna happen we all know billy eilish what was i made for is the better song technically but dude Talk about that performance, dude. That was awesome. From the start, sitting in the crowd, going up on the stage, you got the other Kens. What's up, Ken? What's up, Ken? He's going down. Margot Robbie singing. Greta Gerwig singing. Hell, let's get Emma Stone in here. She can sing too. More of the story, the awards can get it right sometimes. I don't always have to leave upset. I was watching it actually in LA. I was like 20 minutes away from the actual Dolby Theater where the whole thing was going on. I was watching it in this little cafe and the people there were like, yeah, poor things better win this. The people working, like the baristas, poor things better win this. And then poor things would win, we'd all like high five each other. We'd be like, yeah, 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 okay, poor things won. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. won, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. It was sick. I was really happy about it. And they also had some other cool ideas throughout the whole entire thing. I like the idea of bringing back all the actors, or like, you know, five actors from the past who had won. You got Matthew McConaughey out there. And people are always gonna be weird. People are always gonna find like some drama to talk about. Did you see Robert Downey Jr.? He, he didn't look he who Kwan in the eyes when he accepted the award did you see the pictures of them behind the scenes L let's not be weird let's not start drama the, it's just they're just actors at the end of the day it's not that deep we shouldn't let this affect our lives and, and get like oh my gosh did you see that's so messed up Robert Jane Jr that's so wrong of him the Jimmy Kimmel monologue was really the only thing that I didn't love i'm sick of the your movies are so long man killers of flower moon is so long my son grew up and had kids by the time it was over right that is so annoying it's such an old joke and i feel like it's always martin scorsese movies oh the irishman so long oh avatar so long i know avatar's not martin scorsese okay and just move on to another example pretty annoying i didn't like that some of the other jokes just not that good emma stone she said some words about the monologue that I may or not agree with, but you know, that's why she's Emma Stone. That's why we love her. And yeah, that's my video. Just some quick thoughts on the Oscars. Thanks for watching uh, Brooke Landers. I make a new video every single day. Subscribe. Talk to you later.